Hello everyone, I'm Charnel and welcome to my channel. So today we're doing something a little bit different. We are going to be looking at some fun, wacky Trader Joe's spices, sauces, and condiments. I do a lot of cooking at home. I can have control over the nutrients that goes into my body. I know my food's going to taste good because I'm good at cooking and I save money cooking at home. Keep it interesting. You gotta have the flavors. You gotta have a myriad of flavors to keep yourself interested in the food. So the first thing we have here is the Trader Joe's horseradish aioli. So this is going to be like a tart mayonnaise, <laughs> basically. This I'll probably end up putting on sandwiches or trying out an egg salad with this. The Trader Joe San Soyaki. They suggest using it as a marinade for both meats, tofu, and vegetables. And I will end up probably using this to make tofu. I'm always looking for ways to make tofu more interesting. We have the Trader Joe's Chili Lime Seasoning Blend for fresh jicama, mango, and pineapple. It is a delicious enhancement to grilled meats. That's something that didn't come to mind for me, spicing my fruits with this. Next is the organic coconut aminos seasoning sauce. This contains a blend of 13 amino acids. I see this as being very similar to like a Bragg's amino sauce or I forget, I forget what exactly Bragg's calls theirs. And this is made up of organic coconut sap, water, and sea salt. Here we have a blue cheese mustard. But who likes to eat just regular yellow mustard. I mean, I know some people do, but not here. I like to have something that gives me some kind of kick, some kind of underlying flavors for me to go off of. So this has blue cheese. Let's see what they say about it. <laughs> they are sort of inviting me to make up my own flavor combinations with this. So while they mention things like pork and pretzels, they're inviting me to just dip this in other things. So this is basically Dijon mustard with blue cheese and honey, molasses, and sugar. Tamarind extract. Caramelized sugar syrup. There's a lot of interesting things in here. So this is more than just your average mustard here. Here we have an eggplant garlic spread with sweet red peppers. I saw this as being like a Sandwich spread. Sandwiches are easy to make, and I do make more than just sandwiches. And they're also saying to stir it into your soups for flavor. Next, we have the Trader Ming's General So's stir fry sauce. A sweet and tangy spicy sauce with bits of chili pepper and a hint of garlic. So they're providing simple instructions on sauteing your vegetables and your meat of choice, and then adding the sauce and eating it with some rice. And that sounds like a great meal to me. Here we have the Italian Bamba hot pepper sauce with fermented Calabrian chili peppers. I'm excited about this. Sometimes like I am a baby and I don't really want a lot of spice and other times I am like, bring it on, give me that heat, give me that fire. And that's where I'm at right now. Give me that heat, give me that fire. <laughs> Next we have the Trader Joe's Mushroom and Company Multi-Purpose Umami Seasoning Blend. Umami, the Japanese word for savory taste, is one of the five basic tastes along with sweet, sour, bitter, and salty. Use a sprinkle of Mushroom and Co. to add a boost of savory flavor to just about any dish. Well, I love savory! <laughs> Last but not least, I have the Everything But The Bagel Sesame Seasoning Blend. Don't think I bought just one. I've heard so many good things about this that I decided to pick up two because I have a feeling that I am going to be trying to put this on everything, everything, everything. 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 So what do they say about it? Sprinkle this on whatever you'd like to make you feel like you're eating an everything bagel or be bold and sprinkle on a plain bagel with cream cheese. The great thing about all of these seasonings and sauces is that nothing was over three dollars. That allowed me to get so many different things and invite so many different flavors in my kitchen. Have you tried any of these things? Let me know in the comment section how they taste, what you thought, and what you ate them with. I'm very excited to hear. If you'd like to see more content from me, follow me on Instagram at Solar Powered Lions, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!